Task 3. You need the healthy ecosystem presentation and the butterfly and wildlife video files from the class webpage to complete this exercise. Open the presentation and then follow the steps. Step 41. In the left content placeholder, click the Insert Video button to open the Insert Video dialog box. You can insert video files, video clips, and in video embedded codes from this Insert Video dialog box. Step 42. Adjacent to From a File, click the Browse button to display a traditional browsing dialog box. Navigate to the Computer Concepts folder and double click the butterfly file to insert the video as an object with a play bar below it. The play bar is similar to the one from an audio object. Step 43. On the play bar, click the play pause button and watch the video. Step 44. Repeat steps. 41 to 43 to insert the wildlife video and the content placeholder on the right and play the video. Let's trim this video so that it shows only the animal that looks like a marmot. Step 45. With the wildlife video selected, on the Playback Tool tab, in the Editing group, click the Trim Video button to open the Trim Video dialog box. In the Trim Video dialog box, you can advance through the video frame by frame to identify the start and end of times of the segment you want. Step 46. On the slider below the frame, drag the green start marker to the right until it sits at about the 17.02 mark. Then click the Next Frame button, pausing after each click until the first Marmot frame comes into view at about the 0, 0.17.292 mark. Step 47. Drag the red stop marker to the left until it sits about the 20 point 9 mark. Then click the previous button, pausing after each click until the last marmot frame comes into view at about the 2.79 second mark. Step 48. Click OK to close the dialog box and then play the trim video. Now let's size the video objects and apply a style to make them look attractive on the slide. Step 49. Click the butterfly video object and on the format tool tab in the size group, 
click the height arrow until its setting is 3 inches. Step 50. Click the wildlife object and in the size group change its height to 3 inches. Because this video object is now too wide, we need to crop it from the left. Step 51. On the Format Tool tab, click the Size Dialog Box Launcher to display the vi Format Video Pane. Step 52. In the pane, click the Video icon and then click Crop. Step 53. In the crop position area, change the width setting to 4 inches. Then close the pane. Step 54. Drag the objects until they are evenly spaced on the slide, using the smart guides to ensure that they are aligned. Step 55. Select both video objects using the control key and then on the format tool tab click the more button in the video styles group. This displays a menu containing video styles gallery. You can select the frame for the video from the video styles gallery in which 41 frame styles are organized in three categories. Subtle, Moderate, and Intense. Step 56. In the Intense area, click the fifth thumbnail in the first row, Reflected Bevel Black. Then click away from the objects to display the results. The two video objects have rounded frames and reflections. Finally, let's set up the video for presentation delivery. Step 57. Click the butterfly object and on the playback tool tab in the video options group, click the volume button and then click mute. Step 58. In the video options group, click display the start list then click automatically. Then select loop until stopped. Put a check in the checkbox. Step 59. Click the wildlife object. Set volume to mute. Leave start set to on click. And select the loop until stop checkbox. Step 60. Switch to the reading view and preview and pause the butterfly video. Then preview and pause the wildlife video. Press the escape key to return to normal view. Step 62. Insert student name and the title placeholder on the slide. Step 63. Upload the Healthy Ecosystem presentation to the Canvas website. Close the presentation, saving your changes.